Hello and welcome to this series of tutorials on using Alice. Today we'll carry on learning about functions, parameters, and variables. This lesson will focus on variables in particular and will be just a short demonstration to help you understand what they are and why they are useful. We will return to them again over the next few lessons. Let's remind ourselves what a variable is again. Something that may change be it a number or some text during the life of your Alice project. In this example, we have a girl and a tree. We will use a variable to keep track of how many times she walks past the tree and also how far she is from the tree. So every time she walks past, we should increase the variable by one and each time she turns around, we will check how far she is from the tree. So let's get to it. Let's make a variable. Select Pine Tree from the Object window and in the Properties tab, press the Create New Variable button. This should look familiar as it looks the same as the one for a parameter because a variable has similar properties to a parameter. It has to be a number, a string, and so on, and it needs a name. Let's call this one Distance from Girl. Every time she turns, we'll check her distance from the tree. A variable always starts with a value. If it is a number variable, as in our case, then the value must be a number. If you want to change the variable, you must give it a new value. So let's give it a new value. Drag the variable into your instruction box and give it any value you want. Next, we drag the text value in from the Properties tab of the 3D Text object to allow us to change its value. If we try and drag in the variable into the text value, it won't work because it's still a number. So remember, we have to change it to a string first. Now it will work. If we press play, it will show the value you put in. To show the distance from the tree, just use that function. Remember that a function will always give you something, so it will get its measuring tape and measure the distance from the girl to the tree and give it to the variable. The variable will then change itself into whatever distance the function gave it. Let's see how it looks. There is the distance. If we copy the two instructions we just made and place them after she walks, we should get a new number. The variable keeps telling the function to check the distance and give it a new number to change its value. So let's quickly keep track of how many times she walks past the tree. Make a new variable and give it a good name. Drag that variable into the instruction box and get it to increment by 1. That means just add 1 to the variable. If the variable is 1, it becomes 2. If it is 12, it becomes 13. Then make the text say the variable's value. Note, in this case, there is no function involved. We are just asking the variable to do a bit of math. If we copy the two instructions we just made and place them after she walks back, we should get a new number each time she passes the tree. There you go. A couple of variables in action changing their values over and over. Next, we are going to use the if-else block, a monster programming concept, and most importantly, it'll be the one that'll enable you to start making games. Thanks for watching. 